Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Jamie Thumb here, and I am bringing you another Madden CPUB Home Games gameplay. Uh, today, or, well, you know, this game, I was going Vampire, as you can see in the top left-hand corner with the MCPUB mod. I guess I did get a new skin, I got the Influencer skin, uh, just because it's awesome. Charlie Brown and the Chocolate Factory is an awesome music. But yeah, um, I actually s I sped this clip up. Right now it's at 200% speed, and all the kills are at 100% um, speed. Now, uh, please, would somebody just leave a comment saying, like, do you like this better? Like, where he gets through the whole clip, and uh, it's sped up, but the kills are slowed down, or do you like it where I just like, cut everything out? Um, like, so you don't see the whole clip, but everything's normal speed. Uh, please just feel free to leave your comments and let me know, like, how everything's going. As you can see right here, uh, I don't know if you saw that, the arrow particles right there, but somebody was shooting me. Um, so I just decided to kind of, like, dig a hole and get myself all organized. See, I have an arrow in my head. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was probably really like 30 seconds, but it was like 15 seconds in super sped up time. And then, yeah, there is a daylight keeper right there. I don't want to get blown up, so I take it out. And then here comes kill number two. Well, I shouldn't say I kill him, but this video is 14 minutes long, so I don't know what. I would be doing for 14 minutes. I don't, but as you can see, I did get a health potion from that first guy that I killed, so that was pretty nice. Um, and today I want to talk about my top five kits. Um, and like, well, my top five kits, why I like them, and my least favorite kits, and why I like them. Um, so we got to start with number one. I think I'm going to have to say Berserker. Um, I I probably should have started at number five, but too late. So I like Berserker because it's it's I think it kind of is overpowered, but not too much. Um, <clears throat> just because you get that strength too, but what makes it uh, like equal out is the nausea effect of the Berserker, so... Hey guys, sorry about that. My dad just walked in. He didn't really read the sign that I have my door that says, please knock first, so... Yeah. Um, but, um, back to what I was talking about. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I was talking about my top five and least favorite kids. Well, so, uh, Berserker. My number one, because you get that nice strength boost, and you can easily two shot somebody with no armor. Um, yeah, so, um, under number two, I like, uh, Thor. Um, just because, well, Thor is a really good kit, so it might be kind of obvious why I like it. But, uh, if you don't want a Thor, you get. Uh, wooden axe and right click it, it calls down lightning and places blocky click with um netherrack. So it's really powerful that lightning and also that fire. And just so well just so um uh, just because you know, if you catch on fire then they can't spin away from you easily and uh yeah, so Thor is at number two. Um, at number three we have Viper. Now, Viper, you might be like, it's just like 
and poison beast for like two seconds. And yeah, uh, right there has like a 30, I think they changed it so it's a 33% chance that you can poison somebody. Um, uh, po it's like poison one for like three seconds or something. But that can come in really uh, helpful because you can, you know, they can get poisoned, they can't run away. Then you hit them a few times, when you catch up to them, they can't run away anymore. And finally, you can just kill them really easily. And it also docks their health, like, half a heart per second or something. I'm not quite sure, but... Um... Uh, yeah, I just, I think Viper's a really good kit, in my opinion. And you guys should go check it out if you don't already have it. Um... Number four... Uh, I would say Monk. Uh, Monk is a free kit, so, like, well, it's free if you have Facebook, but, um, but I think it is really good. Like, it's one of the free kits, like, free kits are like monster and stuff. Then, that's kind of okay, but in my opinion, Monk is really good because you can disarm somebody and, like, if you know how to PvP, like, have soup in their inventory and stuff, when you, um, disarm them, uh, like, their sword position, like, if they have an extra sword in their inventory, it will mean less soup, and also their sword position is messed up, so they can't, like, PvP as well. Um, so, it, and it's really good to catch people, like, off guard and kind of surprise attack them with um but yeah so at, at number five is the kit i'm using now which is a vampire uh it, it works really well against teens um especially because you get that health boost and uh yeah so um uh, i don't know it, it's kind of hard to explain why i like them they're just they're just overall good kits. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll see it right here if you haven't seen like Vampire before. But like, uh, I'll be at kind of low health and then I just like go up to full without me eating the soup. Uh, I do eat the soup after because I have like half a heart left, but or half a heart missing. But yeah, you do get a nice health base, so it's good for taking out teams and all that. Um, so I'm probably about halfway through the video. Um, now I think I'll move on to my top five least favorite kits. Um, like it, it'll go like number five, like is my is one that I like most out of them, and number one is one that I hate the most. Well, not hate, just think, I just kind of think all these kids are kind of useless a little bit. Um, at number five, we have Burrower. Now, um, well, Burrower, you start out with, like, two slime balls, and then you can right click slime ball, and it, like, burrows you deep into the ground where you, uh, don't, like, this round you in a, like a safe hunt, basically, and it bricks like 20 blocks underground. So it's good for like, like, um, people who are like panicking, um, a lot. Well, not a lot, but like, they're in a panic, like, they're showing their inventory or something, and then somebody comes up from behind them, they can just, um, click their slime ball and, uh, like run away from that basically um but it can it is countered a lot by ender mages and uh ender mages can just ender mage them up and then their slime balls will be useless and also over time they can just mine to mine to them uh the burrows that is um, but yeah, so at number four, uh, we have Hunter. If you don't know what Hunter does, it is where, uh, when you kill a pig, you always get two cooked pork chops. 
Now, that used to be good um, with like 1.2.5 because like you get um, now 1. Point, well it's 1.4 now but in 1.3 you can get 1 to 3 pork chops from pigs um, and before you can get 0 to 2 so it was good you would always get 2 um, pork chops from the pigs except uh, now you can get uh, 1 to 3 so you always get a pork chop and you can even get 3 so that's like that's 3 pork chops from pigs instead of 2 and you don't even like you don't need hunter to get them cooked you I mean, why not just buy Thor Thor is a way better kit overall you it has an attack weapon and you can get cooked food without having to cook it you can get three cooked pork chops from pigs instead of two with hunter um so yeah uh and number three with fletcher fletcher is a good kit to team if you guys are good with bows if you don't know what it does you always get a flint from gravel and you always get two feathers from chickens and uh, like, you get two feathers, I don't know if I said that, but you get, always get two feathers from chickens. Um, yeah, it is good for, like, teaming with an archer, but, uh, it doesn't have any attack advantages, and it's mainly a team support kit, and, um, yeah, if you actually find enough, like if you actually get like 30 flint or whatever, you're probably not going to find 15 chickens to make that many arrows with all that flint that you found. Um, so, yeah, I, I really don't think it's that good of a kit, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, now we are a little bit running out of time, so I'm going to try and speed things up. Um, and number two, we have Necro. Necro, you can one-shot skeletons and you always get two bones from them. Now, it is nice to have the ability to one-shot skeletons, except that a uh, skeleton, if you have, like, armor and everything, uh, and soup, skeletons can be really easy. Um, and, and you do get those two bones, but uh, what else would you use bones for besides... Well, there is taming dogs. Like, if you wanted a dog army, then Necro might be good. And but you'd have to find dogs first. Um, but yeah, what else would you use bones for besides like grow bone meal for growing wheat, or like trees or taming dogs? If you want to tame dogs? Necro might be good. Or just find a bunch of skeletons and let the luck choose. Um, my computer keeps going blank. Um, but yeah, why not just get cultivator? You can instantly grow wheat. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my opinion. Um, we have about 30 seconds left. Now this guy was just trying to kind of like toy with to kind of have fun with the last kill. But, going on to my least favorite kit of all time, would have to be Hermit. It, Hermit is, it's just, it's not, it's not fun. Um, by the time, like, you can run, like, 250 blocks away in the invincibility. So, in my opinion, Hermit is not a good class. Um, yeah, sorry, I kind of run out of time. But, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Leave your feedback down below. Peace.